guys, it's Tommy and welcome to a brand new Liverpool Carrier Mode episode. I'm really excited about this one because we will play some huge games. We play Chelsea in the Premier League. We start our FA Cup adventure. Also, we play the League Cup semi-final second leg against Leeds. And what a December we had. Look at how many goals we scored. Six against Chelsea, five against Burnley and Everton, and uh, four against Wolves and, and three against Leeds and four against uh, Spartan. Uh, uh, Lokomotiv Moscow. I really hope that we can keep that run going. Guys, if you enjoy this Liverpool series, I'm having a lot of fun recording it and editing it for you guys. Please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment of the day goes out to these guys that you can see below me on the screen. And also, we are in the January transfer window, even though I think we have a very complete full squad which are challenging for the Premier League title. Let me know who should we sign in the January transfer window in the comments below. And we feel our strongest possible lineup. We have to rotate a little bit. So Matip, Neko, Williams, Benningham starts and Vlahovic starts as well. Vlahovic is one of our top scorers this season. Let's see how we can keep that run going. And the focus on Sadio Mane. Facing his former club, he'll want to make a point. Welcome to the St. Mary's Stadium. Let's hope the fireworks will translate onto the pitch and we can score some goals. It's a shame that the FA Cup doesn't have the authentic presentation anymore because I really love that. Bellingham. Go on. Shoot Bellingham. Chiesa. Please. Frederico Chiesa. Another save. Go on. Chiesa. And surely Vlahovic, what a start! 1-0 for Dusan Vlahovic keeps on scoring goals. And this is why I'm doing these short corners, because sometimes it, it just results in a goal. Vlahovic, again from a tight angle, buries it. Problem, Puertas, who came on for the injured McNeil. Great block, Matip. But Southampton are still attacking. Are you kidding me? I can't switch to the right player. Come on, I hate this. When this happens, that EA doesn't let me switch to the right player. Money to Robertson. And Bellingham! Oh my goodness. Oh no. Okay. I knew it. I knew he would do that pass and I still can't prevent it. And man is holding his leg, which is very unfortunate. So what I will do, put Kiesa at left wing and instead of Mane, let's bring on Curtis Jones in midfield. Great ability, but needs to be that little bit more consistent. Oh, what a pass. Ah, that's a foul. And Jones. And that's a foul as well. Kiesa! Rico Chiesa hopefully seals our passage to the fourth round of the FA Cup. I want to take this competition seriously. I mean, I think we get uh, we get fouled there with Neko Williams, but Curtis Jones gets dispossessed. The ball falls to Chiesa and from a very tight angle, he buries it. What is the goalkeeper doing? I have no idea. Well, it was apparently a bookable offence. Well, no debate. Bellingham. Boom. Jude Bellingham. Oh! goal of the whole series that is from so incredibly far out that's like 40 yards and Jude Bellingham puts it in off the bar that is honestly the most satisfying thing in the world when the ball hits the bar and goes in absolutely glorious I don't think we needed goal rank technology look how far the ball was over the line absolutely brilliant finish I mean how far is this it's actually more than 40 yards it's maybe 45 yards and Jude Bellingham look at the absolute precision Jude Bellingham take a bow what a finish what a long shot goal and from this angle this is the goal line camera it looks even better oh my goodness let's watch it from the goalkeeper's point of view Jude Bellingham lets it fly and oh wow oh, that is brilliant In search of space. no 
Timo Puppi, it's 3 1. I can't, just can't stop these cross field passes. Southampton get to go back, and this is why the Bellingham goal was so important because now instead of a one goal lead, we still have a two goal lead. Why is Van Dijk not marking Puppi? Let's bring on Doku and Simikas for the tired players. Uh, we need another goal, I think. And the yellow card for that, Stuart. You bet I'm tired of trying it again! And it has gone in again! Jude Benningham is a long shot maestro! Oh, that is another really, really special goal! Can you believe it? We scored two goal of the season contenders! This is a little bit closer, 35 yards, but that is again going in perfectly into the top corner. You bet I'm doing an end of the season, best goal of the season compilation. I mean, which one of Bellingham's goals were your favorite? My favorite is still the first. Go on, Doku. Go on, Doku. And Curtis Jones is five! We absolutely smashed Southampton to pieces! Oh, what a run by Jeremy Doku and what a finish by Curtis Jones. From midfield, he's scoring goals and this is his first full season. He had two seasons on loan. But Curtis Jones is a full a big part of Liverpool and he will only improve, I think. What a finish. Oh my goodness. Oh, what a game. 5-2. 7 goals. Proper entertainment. I can't even be mad about that because that is a stunning goal. This turn is fantastic and then the finish is equally so. What a game Jude Bellingham had. 5 attempts, 2 goals. Both of them were absolute stunners. Absolutely out of this world. And this is how you beat a mid-table side like Southampton. And this is the FA Cup, so of course I'm just happy that we progressed. Really, really delighted, especially with the kind of goals that we scored. We had 9 shots on target, 4 shots on target for Southampton. Mane's injury is the only worry. He just never catches a break, Sadio Mane. He was already out for 3 months with an injury. Jude Bellingham, I mean, look at his shooting. The two goals came from the furthest that he shot today. Absolutely brilliant. Expected goals 0.5 from 5 shots. Everton are through in the FA Cup, but Man City are out! They got knocked out by Tottenham. Man United are through as well. Chelsea are through. Only, only by one goal they beat uh, Stoke. West Ham are through and uh, let's see. Arsenal are through and Aston Villa as well. And Sadio Mane only suffered a four-week injury. That's still a blow. So the replays have been completed and Wolves got knocked out. Uh, we get Tottenham, that is so unlucky. I can't believe that Tottenham in the fourth round of the FA Cup, but if we can knock them out somehow, then we can go a long way because not that many big teams will be left. There has been a recent huge transfer, Florian Neuhaus, who has been linked with Liverpool, 86 rated player. He signs for Chelsea just before we played them. And he is the replacement of N'Golo Kante who went to Barcelona for 83 million. This next game against Chelsea is very important because Arsenal are just two points behind us. So if we lose and Arsenal win against Sheffield, they will go top of the Premier League. This Chelsea team is an absolute monstrous side with Neuhaus at the new signing, Lukaku, Havertz and Pulisic up front. But we play, we played them and we smashed them 6-0 in the Premier League. But I'm sure that they are up for revenge. Keys of Lauwic and Jota starts for us up front. When you think about this fixture, your mind goes back to 2005 and that classic Champions League semi-final which was decided in Liverpool's favour. It's never boring when it's Chelsea against Liverpool. Welcome to Stamford Bridge, Chelsea-Liverpool. One of the most important games of the season because we don't have that many big teams left in our schedules. Go on. Bobby Firmino! Oh, damn. Pulisic to Lukaku. Back to Pulisic. Alisson, what a save. Oh, no. Pulisic, Pulisic, unbelievable, what a finish. And it was coming, Chelsea are creating more chances than us, I just can't really get into the a game in attack. And Pulisic scores a stunning goal. And this quick passing between Lukaku and Pulisic, and I just can't get close to Pulisic in time. 
How is he wide open? Cherise James hands it over an open goal. Alison came out to visit the relatives or something. Are you kidding me? Here's Renato Sanchez. Dusan Vlahovic. Vlahovic. To Kiesa? Yes! What the finish! Kiesa, I remember. In the first Chelsea game, we scored a similar goal against Mendy. For some reason, Bernard Mendy can't save these shots from that angle. Kiesa scored brilliantly. That was a stunning finish. Chelsea move still flowing. Advantage to that. No! Mount! Ooh, Alisson! That was very, very important. And we injured Lukaku. It wasn't intentional. Fabinho was just a little bit late with the tackle. We need to freshen things up. So, Nako, Williams, Bellingham and Konate are all coming on. Go on. Renato Sanchez, please! Oh, no! Oh my goodness, I thought that was in. Oh, what a goal it would have been. I think it was perfectly placed, but almost perfect power. It's just the accuracy was lacking. Oh no, Van Dijk. Mason Mount. Ziyech. Havertz. Back to Ziyech. Alisson. Let's do it. Kiesa, please. Kiesa almost scored. So our long and incredible winning run comes to an end, but... At away at Chelsea, a point is always a good result, no matter the circumstances, but I'm just, uh, I think it was a fair result. The first half Chelsea were the better team, second half we were the better team, Chelsea had more shots, but I think we could have even won the game if Sanchez's shot goes in. And Kiesa scores again, very happy for him. So now Arsenal got level on points with us, this is why it was very important to win a lot of games with big, big margins. Our goal difference is 20 goals better than ours. So if we keep winning after this Chelsea draw, we can stay top of the league. Everton beat Man United, which is brilliant. Man City, Tottenham won. They got closer. Chelsea are now, very, they can be very worried whether they will play European football next season. Brentford, Burnley and Norwich are in the relegation zone. Fabinho picked up a suspension, but he will be suspended for the West Brom game. So that is very ideal. And also we have a position change for Finley Bolton, who has 81 to 94 potential potential and I converted him to a cam oh my goodness instead of a 51 rating he now has a 67 rating wow that is one of the biggest growth that I have seen via the press of a button Man United did us a big favor they beat Arsenal away from home so Arsenal are level on points with us with one more game to play for us and that's West Brom we really need to beat them and we have to rotate the team because we have a big FA Cup uh, fourth round tie against Tottenham just three days after this game uh, so this is a big big opportunity for Doku, Harvey Elliott, Curtis Jones. In fantastic form and the top scorer in the league can he add to his tally today? Welcome to Anfield, this game is a winnable game sandwiched between the Chelsea and Tottenham games in the league Curtis Jones Oh, it was almost in. Are we idiot? Vlahovic turns and shoots. Vlahovic and another save. And Doku, please, Jeremy Doku saved. As you can see, Liverpool have had all the ball in the last 15 minutes. Please, Vlahovic. Go on. Vlahovic. Surely, Dusan Vlahovic. Bang! He just never misses those one-on-ones. Dusan Vlahovic after a wonderful through ball by Diogo Jota. That through ball by Jota is brilliant. Vlahovic is just faster and then he is always going to hit the target from there. Seven goals for Vlahovic in just 15 games. That is a great Great return. Go on. Jibbenham! Oh, it's saved and Curtis Jones can't get on the rebound. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. This could pose problems for the defenders. Go on. Go on, Vlahovic, hit it! Ah! Bellingham. Bellingham. Jibbenham! Another save! To take it short here. Doku, please, Jeremy Doku, finally! 
Finally, after so many chances, we get another goal. Doku smashes the ball home. Let's go, Doku. Oh man, I needed a second goal here just to make things a little bit calmer. Do you remember this Mexican kid that we signed in uh, season one when the objective was to expand the cl club in North and Central America? He is from Mexico, so he has been out on loan for two years. He came back and he's finishing his 79 and he also has 79 short passing so I want to bring him on and I want to give him playing time and also we bring on uh, Long the youth academy striker who also has 72 finishing and of course Frederico Chiesa oh beautiful nice balls, Michael Williams and Long please oh Long Frederico Chiesa another save all right oh my goodness Long Long, please! Beautiful! Another save! Are we idiot? Long! Blast it! Oh, what a save! Alisson, good save. That was West Brom's first chance of the whole second half. Doku, please! Doku! Another save! How many saves did the West Brom goalkeeper make? It's a solid win, that's the most important thing, but we should have scored 6 or 7 goals on it. 24 shots to 3, probably the most one-sided game that I played in the Premier League. We should have scored at least 4 according to the game. We had 19 shots on target, 19! Absolutely incredible. I mean, the West Brom goalkeeper, us Acevedo had a man of the match performance. He look at how many saves he made. Look at that. So I want to extend Virgil van Dijk's contract because he only has one and a half years left on his contract and he's happy with the offer. And this game is why the, we rotated so heavily against West Brom and it worked out so far. Now let's get to the League Cup, uh, sorry, the FA Cup fifth round. We are still in the fight for all four trophies this season and with, with the squad that we built, that's what we want. Two English sides who always have to be mentioned when it comes to high profile meetings. This is certainly one. It's Spurs versus Liverpool here in London. Welcome to the wonderful, beautiful Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. This new stadium is really a thing of beauty, but let's beat Tottenham. Alisson! Wow. Go on, Chiesa. Vlahovic to Chiesa. And Femino! Bang! What a wonderfully crafted counter attack! And we take the lead! And this is what we wanted! And Bobby Femino keeps on scoring goals from midfield. He is actually one of our top scorers. This was a wonderful pass by Chiesa. Jota. Vlahovic! And oh! Very boring. Come on, Alisson makes a big save. Isa Robertson to Bobby Firmino. Vlahovic, have a dig! Oh, God, oh, I don't did that go in, but Vlahovic scores a second goal. After Tottenham put us under some pressure, we get out of that pressure. And how did this tank get deflected? Let's watch this again. Yes, it's a big deflection of the defender. Position. Are you kidding me? I didn't press anything! The AI gets a cheap, very, very soft penalty. I didn't press anything. How is that a penalty? Robertson was just standing there. Oh my goodness, come on, Harry Kane, please, let's save it! Whoa, that was an absolutely incredibly powerful penalty by Harry Kane. And Tottenham are right back in this, even though we dived the right way, Harry Kane still slots it home. When Alisson starts moving, the ball is already in the back of the net. That's a red card, honestly, it should be a red card. Alice, I mean, Van Dijk was fouled. 
No, I can't believe it! One bad mistake in the defending and Harry Kane equalizes. I mean, the Robertson penalty, but I mean, Van Dijk gets rolled by Harry Kane and that is a perfect finish. Harry Kane is the best finisher in the Premier League or one of the best finishers. You can't give him, him any space in the box because he will punish you. Umisson. Bergwijn. Delali! Jota, please! Diogo Jota! Lully saves it. Go on, Kiesa. Vlahovic! And again! Ah, it's blocked again! A thoroughly entertaining FA Cup tie. I think that we should have won this, but Tottenham also had great chances. The referee gave a bogus penalty to Tottenham. It was an even game, so a draw is a fair result. Tottenham maybe had more like clear chances. We only had three shots on target. Uh, the second half, I just couldn't really break down Tottenham, but Firmino with a goal and an assist, had a great performance. Harry Kane was the man of the match. The schedule is absolutely brutal. We play Tottenham again in a replay after playing them in the Premier League as well. So this is going to be one hell of a month. Chelsea are through in the FA Cup and let's see what the other big teams did. Aston Villa are also through, Arsenal, Everton and Man United and Leeds are also through as well. But we need a replay and this is, that is going to be a big, big game. Our final game of the episode comes League Cup semi-final. Man City are already through 8-2 on aggregate against Cardiff. Let's hope we can join them in the League Cup final. And it's the same story with the West Brom game. We have the Tottenham Premier League game just three days after this one. One, so I have to rotate very heavily. Long, the youth academy striker, gets a big, big start. And Naveda also gets a run out. Harvey Elliott, I'm trying him out as a right winger. Let's hope we can win this. We're starting to get down to the nitty gritty. Just four teams left in the Carabao Cup. And the stage is set for an absorbing semi-final. It's Liverpool, they take on Leeds United. Welcome to Anfield, the League Cup semi-final second leg. It's a very, very important game. I know I'm rotating the team heavily. Oh my goodness, the right back of Leeds United gets injured. Ooh, what happened here? Oh, it's just uh, coming together, nothing there. No. Ooh, that was almost an own goal by Matip. Alisson, come on! Oh my god, Alisson! James, Daniel James, the ex Man United player. Oh man, I really, really wanted uh, to keep the ball here with Simikas, but he lost it and then, oh my goodness, look how wide open Daniel James is. I can't believe how open he is. Come on! Konate! Oh, brilliant! Pace. Yes, Konate. It's a great stuff. That's a red. That's a red card by Konate. As soon as I made that tackle, I knew because he already had a yellow card. I wanted to block the pass and now ah, that is too late. And this game is now a big, big worry. Curtis Jones is injured anyway, so we will uh, we will bring him off and we will bring on Billy Kumatio. Billy the Kid. Go on. Please, Jeremy Doku! What a save! Oh my goodness, Alisson! Ooh, that guy was wide open! I bring on Chiesa and Jota for Henderson and Long and I'm putting Naveda into defensive midfield. He can play there. I'm putting Harvey Elliott a little bit back. Go on! Jota, please! Diogo Jota, how did you not score that? Chiesa. Jota, this is it. Diogo Jota, Diogo Jota can't score. Navedo, have a dig. Oh my goodness. And Masli. Daniel James. 
and that's a goal unbelievable so easy easy for Leeds United to score I was on the, on the wrong side of the defender here I was on the wrong side of the attacker sorry and I couldn't because I couldn't do anything because if I foul him it's a penalty don't forget we have more Premier League action coming up for you on EA Harvey Elliott, Jota, surely! Diogo Jota, finally! Jota potentially sends us to the League Cup final he comes on as a substitute and with 10 men finally we get a goal so so important Harvey Elliott, ball roll and Jota finishes and Jota should have scored already minimum a hat-trick in this second half after coming on as a substitute he's getting chances Doku, Simikas, and Jota, it's Jota, Diogo, <laughs> what a play, and Diogo, Jota, the hero, just like for Liverpool in real life, where he sent us to the League Cup semi-finals, after coming out as a substitute, he scores two goals, and these celebrations are warranted, because this goal means we go into the League Cup final, Harvey Elliott so unselfish, and Jota is clinical. Those are his first goals in the League Cup, and what an important time to get it. What a pulsating, thrilling League Cup tie this was and I think we deserved it over two legs. We knocked Leeds United out 6-4 on aggregate. Both games were very entertaining with lots of goals. I'm sorry about the red card but even with 10 men I think we deserved at least a draw. We had 10 shots, Leeds United had 11. Second half after the substitutes we were much much better than in the first and Jota was the man of the match of course and Harvey Elliott gets two assists so that is pretty impressive. So we knock Leeds United out 6-4 on aggregate so it will be a Liverpool-Manchester City League Cup final, really looking forward to that. And luckily Curtis Jones is only out for seven days, so he only misses uh, like two games. I forgot to show you the Premier League top scorers, so Jota is still the top scorer with 14 goals, Kiesa has 11, Firmino has 10, which is fabulous, uh, Vlahovic has 7 now, so he's on, on, also on the chart. Diogo Jota has 15 assists, uh, Firmino has 10, Fabinho has four, interestingly, and Alisson kept the most clean sheets in the Premier League by far. He has 11 clean sheets in 23 games. And the next episode is going to be really, really special. We play Tottenham back to back in the league and in the FA Cup. And we will also play Manchester United and the Paris Saint-Germain Champions League uh, campaign is going to be really, really awesome with Paris Saint-Germain coming up in the last 16. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed this. Have a nice day, see you later, goodbye.